Well, hello again. It is another wonderful Sunday, a studio Sunday or time in your studio on a wonderful Sunday, however you want to say it. Um, and as you can see, I've just let these sit around um, a little longer. Since last week, I have not worked on any of them except for thinking about uh, looking at them once in a while just to see what the next layer is. What do I want? So I think this one has, it may or may not have enough black, so I might use a different uh, color for a dark, and I think I would like this. Mind you, if I go darker, it will take the eye away, or I might put this in black at the outer edge, or, or raw umber. So that's what I'm debating. I love this shape, and I'm going to continue with um, some very thin staining. And I know I did that last week, but I found I didn't do it boldly enough, or maybe because it wasn't clear enough in my mind what I wanted. So this really has an effect on, on your approach to your art. So you can just fiddle around until something comes through. And uh, so that's what I've decided. This is okay, but I think bolder, either the arc, the curvilinear, or the half circle in a black. Because I'm knowing, I'm thinking, uh, the black shapes really, really look good. Um, they make a statement, they make the eye come around, um, and all that stuff. So, also, using manganese blue, and what I'm thinking is pushing back some more layers Remember last week we added some white, we covered. And I said that with the white, you can then, of course you can leave it, you can stencil on it. Um, and I'm gonna do a few things. You can make marks on it with a black Posca marker. So I'm going to approach just these four this morning, keep the video short. In the what if I did this and see, because I still think um, they're really getting really rich. They, I haven't really thought of uh, anything yet, uh, except for this really cool shape, which I plan to surround with a manganese blue stain. So uh, let's do that and see what happens. I like the blue for this because I love how it contrasts so well. I like it beside that green and I really like how the stain is picking up the texture. I'm going to go all around up here on this 140 pound um, coal uh, wasn't cold pressed uh, watercolor paper arches and I like it with the tooth because of the texture now that's definitely I'm, I'm thinking what if I went all the way hmm Interesting. So now, just by doing that, it has changed and defined a direction for this in quadrants. Each quadrant is different, and now it's coming together. So I am going to grab my black. So 
Sorry, I had to go across my studio to find it. <laughs> and it is just your Liquitex Basics. And I want to use the same brush, so I'll clean it off. And I don't want it, I don't want a lot of water, so I'm making sure I don't mess that up. So I'm going to go, let's see, which one? This. Nope, something tells me that that would be too much. And now, because I don't want the, the eye to disappear, this is a little tricky with this brush. I like it because of the edging it does, but it, of course, doing curves, it's probably not the best choice. Yes, I like this. This was a good choice. Okay, interesting, interesting. So now that I've done that, I find I want to redefine that edge, clarify this shape. And now I've got something interesting going on. So this is beginning to find its direction. So I will put that to the side. Um, let's focus on one at a time. So this one I feel needs more black. And the area that it needs it is down here. So I'm just going to do that. I don't want to cover up my dots. But I think my two favorite types of marks are stripes, of course, and circles. Ah, okay, I just got this idea. So I'm just going to spread out this black. And of course, my trusty copper pipe here, because I like the size. And, and I like the randomness of the marks that it makes. Now, I don't want to go over that edge, so I'm going to put this here to block it, because I want that nice framing. And I like how that goes off the edge. <clears throat> okay. So now, there's too many squares that are too similar in size. So let's see. Let's, that was raw umber. I will like my little arrow there. This might be a little too thin. Let's use, let's add a little more saturation. And let's add some ochre, some opacity to increase the size of this. So that's looking interesting. I don't like that overlap, so I'm going to bring that in. I think bringing this warm all the way down would be better. I may or may not get rid of this, um, this stain of manganese blue on top of this. And I might add some black over the top of this blue. Okay. I don't like the blue here. So I'm going to go over it. I'm going to add some Titan Buff. So it's thick and op opaque. 
And I like that little piece of white right there, and I'll bring this closer to the camera so you can see what I'm talking about. And I like this. Okay. So as you can see, I've added the circles, the black. There's some black here. So I think I'm going to add a couple of black stripes right there. I like the text up here, which is black, and it's very thin, which is the opposite of this thick. So I'll leave that. So I'll just turn this. And I'm going to leave that blue. And I'm not going to use paint there. I'm going to use my Posca marker. And we're going to go in threes. And to emulate this open circle, I think I can do three of these. Maybe some more to bring the eye down. go vertical but I don't want too many so we'll do dots we'll do three stripes do two columns of dots and maybe continue that you know that that's disappearing underneath. <clears throat> okay, one last. I see I didn't close this circle over here, and that's catching my eye, so. <clears throat> so this is really getting busy, this one. And so it, Mm. could look interesting in any position uh, translation uh, turning it okay so this right next to that I don't know if I like it but I don't know what I want to do next so I'm going to leave it okay so we'll let this one sit because I'm but I'm liking what's happening in quadrants so these, uh, it's very busy. So I might take out some of these squares, make a shape, um, but I'm really liking my black, wide, thinner, and maybe do some scratching lines on it. Who knows, and I like how that arrow is just peeping through. Um, so we'll come back to that one. I really love this curve that's happening. So, and it's sort of a diagonal, sort of a dynamic down there. Let's see, if I wanted to add some more saturation, just to pick up on that diagonal let's see what would happen so I'm not sure if I like that so I'm just gonna whoops dab it off but I like it just ever so slightly I like that so I think maybe even lightening that up I don't want that text all covered, but just slightly, just to make it disappear a little bit. So this is nickel azo with a little white. 
So now that shape is coming down more and so there's just a thin veil and you can see the marks that are hidden now so it's creating another layer under another layer and I might even pick up and continue these marks in this area with a little more white because I'm liking the direction but I want the subtlety. Okay, I think one more in that lower corner. And by the way, um, we did hit 333, so I made that little announcement. So now we're bigger. So uh, welcome new members to the Facebook group. I hope you're enjoying exploring abstract art journaling, uh, mixed media abstract, which is sort of, that's what we're doing here. And um, yeah, it's just all good. And carving out some time on a Sunday is the best. So I'm liking what's happening here. Hmm. Very interesting. This needed a little more um, relation to the darker ochre, and I think maybe even over here a little. Okay, this is still an interesting veil. Now I did use the turquoise, which was the Liquitex, Let's see what happens if I put a little bit of blue manganese just beside mm. see how it went sort of a mauve over that reddish orange and that sort of simplified it too many squares going on, and I tend to, to do that, and that, that's okay. I'm going to use the back of my brush because I love dots, and I like white and tight and buff together. So it depends how far I want to leave these loose. I just want to explore. Some are coming closer to finishing than others, and um, that's really interesting. What do I want to do there? I think I want to really emphasize this curve, and I love this texture that this brush leaves with the thick paint. Black dots could have worked too. There. Okay, I'm going to let this sit. And I'm really liking the, uh, the circles here under this layer. This was that um, handmade paper. Um, yes, and you know, I think I'll let this disappear more just a little and I might not like it so I can oh look what I did these things happen okay so a little extra scrub now we will leave that we will leave that there so I'm gonna just go over that with the Titan buff and some white just to cover up that smudginess, smudginess, 
smudginess, I guess. And so the type of brush strokes that you make too, which on these small pieces probably don't show up that much. But experimenting with how you put the layer down, you see how this has had a lot of brush strokes in it, and now and it's translucent against this more opaque edge over here. And that's what I'm trying to get. Why? Because it's just a little different, but it's subtle. Now, I did like it more white, so I'm going to add a little bit more white here. I don't want to totally cover that because these are sort of disappearing underneath that layer, and I want that effect. But redefining that half circle, and I think, oh, and I see what I've done there. So let's redo those dots again. And then they'll dry some really nice texture. Let's even add. That's it. We'll stop right there. I don't want to go into that other area. And that might be too much, but I can go over that with a little, a little bit of black. Okay, last one. And I don't want this video to be too long because... Um, uploading it to my to the Facebook group is uh, I was having trouble with it last week if it was too long so taking some nickel now do we want more no we want more blue this one seems to have an even amount and I'm gonna go in with the manganese right across I don't know if that'll look good or not but I'm just gonna go with the attitude what if? And I'm loving the texture. Not liking all that blue. I'm liking the neutral in this area better. Here's a cleaner cloth. Keep a cleaner cloth and a dry one handy. All right, let's redefine this really interesting black shape here. I really like it. Okay, I think I want to emulate those and I want to leave this. So we're going to go like this. And we're going to go a little off. And these aren't so straight, they're sort of wiggly. Okay. So, I'll continue with this, with these. And I think the last shape I'll put in, I think I want this to be black. Because I love a half circle right on the edge even if I have to come in with some other dots, break it up, or, nope, I think I like it solid because I've got enough texture everywhere else, so this is looking better solid without the orange peeping through. Yes, and there's not another half circle in the piece, so it's defining what's going on. So we've got a quadrant, quadrant, all the quadrants are different. Okay, so I will continue with this until, uh, so you, if you're doing the same, adding layers upon layers, so just keep adding more layers until it, um, till you have enough, like I mentioned last week, and think lights and darks, Think staining for texture. 
um, covering. If you have too many shapes that are the same, you can put them together and make one big shape or a completely different shape over top. So there's many directions to go. And um, I hope everybody has a wonderful Studio Sunday.